Hello everyone, this is Alex of Venom Machine Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a thermostat or also known as a cold control inside a drink vending machine. This is going to be relevant for any style drink vending machine that uses a manual style thermostat such as these. This could be inside of a Dixie Narco, a Vendo, or a Royal. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below. And make sure you hit that notification bell. Let's get started. Now, let me briefly explain what a thermostat or a cold control is inside of your drink vending machine and why you might need to replace it. Now, this is a typical manual style thermostat. We've got the dial on the front where it's here where you can adjust the temperature. You got your contact points, which is sit, resides inside this box. And this probe here, also known as a capillary tube, is filled with a gas that reacts to the temperature inside the machine. This gas will either expand or contract, either releasing or engaging these contact points. Now, through these pins here is where the power from the compressor comes through. So think of this like a light switch. We got power coming in and exiting out the bottom part. So when the temperature inside the machine is warm enough, the contact points engage, turning on the light switch, sending power to the compressor. The compressor then at that point begins to cool down the cabinet and when the temperature that is set by the dial is reached, this gas then changes closes the contact points and then we got power that has now turned off like the light switch turned off power to the main compressor and then the process repeated over and over again so this is why this is a very simple device here maintains and balances that temperature inside your drink vending machine now why you might need to replace this is if you ever come to your machine and all your products are frozen and your evaporator coil is frozen inside the machine, then you may have a thermostat here that is no longer releasing. It just keeps the power to the compressor on regardless of what the temperature is inside the machine. So then you might want to replace these thermostats. Another reason why you might want to replace it is no matter where you turn this thermostat point, the compressor never comes on. Now I'm going to link to a video above that explains how to field test your compressor um, outside the thermostat. But in that video, I do talk about how to test these thermostats. But this video, is, again, is going to be about how to replace to install these, which is a very simple process. So let me show you. Now I'm going to use this Dixie Narco 501E behind me in this demonstration. But again, this video is useful for any type of drink vending machine that uses a manual or analog style thermostat or cold control. The first thing is I have unplugged this machine. We do have power that runs through the thermostat, so we want to make sure there's no power on that. So play safe, go ahead and unplug the machine from the wall. So, you know, on the Stix Arco 501E, this thermostat is located on the right-hand side. You can also find them on the left-hand side as well as actually attached to the left and right-hand side of the evaporator coil itself. So here I've located my thermostat. Now I don't need to remove any other component to get this style thermostat out of the actual machine. But what I will need to do in this video is I'm going to go ahead and remove the delivery chute and the cold box cover in order so you can see how that capillary tube gets mounted in. So let me go ahead and remove the chute right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Phillips head screwdriver. Now I'll link to a video above about the top five tools you want to have on hand whenever you're operating or servicing your vending machine. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen these two screws. I'm going to go ahead and loosen them and get this delivery chute out. I'm fortunate enough this delivery chute is plastic. It's going to make my life a little bit easier to extract it from the machine. Okay, now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clips that are holding the cover on the cold box. I'll pull these off. Pull this out of the way. And here, you can see the actual temp probe or the capillary tube that's being put into the back of the cold box. Now we always wanna read the temperature as the air comes off the evaporator coil, this being the evaporator coil. So if you purchase a machine and use the machine and the temp probe or capillary tube is stuck into the evaporator coil, there possibly could be some cooling issues with that because it's a way to cheat the thermostat. Because this is always going to be colder at its core as opposed to when it's being, when air is being pulled off of it. So we always want to read the temperature after the evaporator coil. Now, Dixon Arcos there happens to be on the right-hand side a little hole that we can actually stick the capillary tube into to read the temperature as it comes off the backs of the fans. So now I need to go ahead and remove the thermostat from the machine. Again, I got the machine unplugged. First thing is I'm going to remove the plugs that go onto the top of the thermostat here. And now it's unplugged. I'm going to go ahead and take my Phillips head screw and remove the actual screw holding on the thermostat. And that comes out. And then here, I'm just going to reach in and 
pull the cap tube out the back. So here is the old style thermostat and I'm going to install the new style. Now this one, old one, didn't have a dial. It used the reference marker that was on the mounting plate. This one actually has a dial here. So here we can figure out which is the off position. So I'm going to turn it. And usually you can hear a clicking sound. All right, so I know this is the off. So this point right here is the off position. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I'm going to very gently unravel the capillary tube. All right, and here I can stick the capillary tube into the back of the thermostat like that. And here I'm just going to mount this up. So this is gonna be a little, this one's a little tricky because it's got this little notch right here. So I can try to come underneath, there we are. I've got that mounted. Take the screw and put the screw back in here. And all right. Now I've got that tightened down. I'm just going to take the capillary tube and kind of bend it, make sure it's not hitting the back of the fan blades and not hitting the, the side of the cabinet. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the wires into onto the side or the back of the thermostat. All right, so those are plugged in. And now I can take the dial and it's got some certain holes that line up with the different types of uh, points on this. So I'll take this, mount that. So here is my off position. So I would then at this point, what I like to do is I'll take a marker, a black marker, and I'll make a, a check mark or a hash mark right here just so I know that that's the off point. Then here it says I have to turn clockwise to make it colder. So what I always like to do is if I was just setting this thermostat, I would go ahead and set it to five, which is halfway. And then I would actually take an actual thermometer, place it inside the machine and then let the machine cool down and then balance that off. I need to go warmer or colder to balance that between 38 to 34 degrees is usually what you want in your drink machine. But that shows you how easy it is to actually remove a thermostat and install a new one. It's not a very difficult process. Thank you.